All right, loot boosted to 250%. Everybody here has weapons. Let's do this. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. So I did like three things that are completely insane. Number one, um, I chose to go in solo on the closest quarters map in the entire game. Number two, I bought a silenced submachine gun instead of a shotgun, because normally you'll bring a shotgun to a close quarter situation. And three, I'm going in solo. Everybody else here is in a team. So if I shoot somebody, I'm not to shoot their partner too. But that's if, or, but that is if I want to cross anybody. So with that out of the way, knowing the peril, the, the potential peril I put myself in. <sighs> game plan, game plan, game plan. First, foremost, hunt for a picture. And in my experience, so usually in uh, houses or shelters, notice how I walk past that truck because. Cars in this game, they have a really, really bad habit of letting everybody in the galaxy know where you are. And so I searched this house. What's the first thing I come across? A weapon. Perfect. Now I got a secondary, uh, some secondary offense in case things get sticky. Check my map once again. I notice I'm at the good side of the map. And now I decide to hit the car. hear a troll. I wait for that alarm to, to stop doing its thing. Um, and I decided to go hunting for that troll, even though it brings me no joy whatsoever. It just looks kind of creepy. Hooray, I guess. Um, so yeah, I hit the car on the way out, because on the way out, I'm moving past it. And there's some gunshots going on behind me. Don't need to worry about that. So now I decide I'm going to stick on the edge of the map and get to where all the buildings are. Because, like I said, primary objective, excuse me, is to find that picture. And this is where things calm down a little bit. Notice how I'm walking through the bushes. Yes, they do make noises. But, people can't see you, especially when it's raining. And it doesn't help that this motion on the back of my, on my back, um, sticks up like a sore thumb. You look for things that are moving in areas that things aren't moving. That's literally any FPS or, uh, TPS, third person shooter, out here on the market right now. So we're almost to our destination. We can tell by that shed right there. Now I'm hoping I find a picture. Pictures on this map, uh, there's so many cannons, not cannons, um, naval gun installations that they all look the same on a picture, but you gotta, you just gotta figure out how they're oriented to tell which one you need to go near. And now the hunt begins for a picture. Usually people do spawn in this area, or at least near it. And so I'm being extra careful. By being extra careful, I mean going in through a window. Yeah, I failed this miserably. Don't laugh. Your laughter hurts me. Yeah. Now, um, I'm assuming it didn't work because there's a could because there was a table right there. Um, so I decided to go in the old-fashioned way. Notice how there's no lootables in here. Like, everything is, like, gone. So people were in here. Notice how all the doors are open. People were in here. This is why if you pick up this game, you close every door behind you. Because it slows your pursuers down. You may not even know you have pursuers. But you do. So, your tracks will lead them straight to you or straight away from you 
You just gotta cover them up. Again, this is the same house. Except back here. I'm assuming they had somewhere to be. So they left this room by itself. So like you don't leave glass, right? So they looted everything except for that back room. We'll go out through a window. Close it behind me. Now we go to the third house. Now this is usually where the safe is. Either this area or the area that this building or the building that this came out of. I'm gonna hit this right here too. Just, just for the XP, why not? You never know. And yeah, so now we're in this house, relatively safe, and I found this. These are always good. These little combination lock, little bowl containers or whatever. Some more ammo for my MP5 that's silenced, yes sir. And some more uh, materials for my house. Now see, normally I wouldn't take metal because you make that at your house anyway. Um, but I expected to not get a lot from this map, even though the loot is boosted to 250. Um, but yeah, usually I don't take metal because you make it at your house, but why not? It's here. Just, just grab it. See, like, everything is still here in this house. So they looted the other two houses, but forgot this one. Or just wanted to move on from this one. And now I'm thinking... I'm not going to get no picture because it's on the other side of the map. Got to be. What's my next move? Well, seeing as how this is a very close quarters map, um, I'm thinking about the uh, tower that's up there. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to hit that. But the reason why somebody else is here because that phone is ringing. The reason why I looked at the map so long, every exit needs materials except for one like for example the the uh the exit that is to my west has a boat which needs five fuel yeah they're closed until somebody deposits resources in them and opens them so that's a no-go which means the only exit i can really take is to my east where you literally just run down the road Here's the moment of truth. This is what's going to decide whether I go for the airdrop or not. Because the airdrop is like right there. I moved it, remember? I always run away from the signal detector because that lets you know, that lets other people know that you're there. And look at that. People are still here. Remember what I told y'all about how close quarters this map is? I'm about to run back to my starting area and like, 20 seconds? The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. And I'm basically there already. Yeah, that's it. I'm already back to where I spawned. This guy catches my eye. Wait for it. Watch the left side of your screen. You're on the left side of the screen, right there. So, things just got interesting. Obviously, they don't know where the exact location is until it drops. But, he is right up there on that rock. And the airdrop just landed. He has clear sight of the airdrop. The airdrop is in the most precarious of areas. Right there in the open. And so that leaves me with one, or at least one, other person watching the airdrop. And I'm just like, okay, he's up there on that rock. How am I going to get to him? Because obviously, I'm not going to... There's another person. See? That first guy sounded like he was shooting the house up. I have no idea why. The second guy was retaliating at the first guy, obviously. 
so I decided to uh, channel my inner um, what's that man called? Pliskin, Solid Snake, Big Boss, and uh, do a little sneaky stealth mission. The rain is helping me because it masks the sound of me crawling, and there he is right there. Thank God for this Mosin. It's a railgun. One shot should be at least 75% of his damage, or well, 75% of his health gone. But you know me. Aim for the head and leave him dead. Or I try to aim for the head. This is See, now he's hurt real bad. Now notice how when he got up to retaliate against me, the other guy shot <coughs> excuse me, the other guy shot him. Or tried to shoot him. Am I worrying about getting my man's who I just killed? His loot? No. Because there's a third person. And that, you can hear him running. Things just got really tense. So I turned a 1v1v1. Because if, they were, if those two guys were on the team, they wouldn't shoot each other, obviously. I just turned a 1v1v1 into a 1v1. And now I'm thinking, where's the second guy at? I only heard his footsteps. I didn't see anything. Now I'm going to take my sweet behind time and circumnavigate the house. Unless I heard some more footsteps. Right. Now I'm going to circumnavigate the house to make sure that he doesn't see sight of me and I may see sight of him. Because if he looks my way, the grayness of the hill that is behind me will mask my silhouette. But, on his side, there's nothing but clouds. It'd be a lot easier to see something moving against clouds rather than moving against the hill. And here comes the radiation. And I have no iodine. That truck is mocking me. But anyways. Right here I get real paranoid. Because in a minute, I'm going to hear some footsteps. So, he was running to the airdrop. Did he get it? I don't know. I don't have sight of it. And you see all these little, like, vegetations or whatever, the leaves, the bushes, the little plates of grass. When you're paranoid, they all look like the tips of rifles on somebody's back. It sounds stupid, but play this game and get caught in some radiation. And I guarantee you feel the same way I do. You see, I have no iodine. And it's now or never. Like, the radiation's here. So if I die, I die. I mean, what do I have to lose besides the rifle I bought in? Yeah, that gets to my nerves. Notice how I keep moving to make sure I don't get headshot. Get it? And I'm gone. Obviously, he got the airdrop because in teams now, or at least in every random game, there's two airdrops in one little... I guess airdrop crate. There's only one. So he got it and he left. Which helps me out, because that means I have no pursuers. Or at least I think I don't have no pursuers. And now it is a race against time. My stamina cannot go down any faster. Like, it's like I take five steps and I'm already up. My health bar is decreasing. My stamina is decreasing and my my insanity is increasing. I'm worried. I'm anxious. I'm just like, bro, can I make it? Can I please make it? Like, I haven't gotten the airdrop. That's him. So obviously he's still here too. And this only raises my anxiety even more because what if he's camping at the exit? People will do that. 
and there's no shame in it. Like, it's a viable tactic. I would never do it, but they can do it. My health is on red. I need every step I take to get to that exit as quick as possible. Every step. And that, yep, I ran right into a barricade. And I'm thinking, I'm about to die. That's it. I'm out of here. I can't. But then this happens. I was literally a dead man walking. Back in the days, if you were caught in the exit and you had zero health, you would die in the exit. But thank God for updates. That's it for this one. Until next time, folks.